today we are going to see the topic called diathermy which is uh, uh, one of the topic in biomedical okay so let me move on to the first slide so what is a diathermy so diathermy is nothing but it's it's a kind of a heat okay so the heat which will be produced and it can be used to heat the tissue which is there in the body generally a body is made up of tissues so there are a lot of ways to cut a body either you can use a knife or you can use um, uh, laser or something like that to cut a body body in the sense that a, a patient's body okay so uh, there is a lot of uh, other ways so in that one way is diathermy so this is very uh, a unique method of uh, cutting a body which is quite widely used in hospitals for uh, at the time of uh, doing surgery okay so this is nothing but um, it's a uh, so this uh, diathermy is about heat in general okay so as i told you this heat um, here uh, through this heat the tissue will be only the selected part of the body can be uh, uh, teared or it can be cut if you want uh, some portions to be cut across the heart surgery you can cut only that area uh, that portion alone uh, it, it will not cut the entire um, uh, you can there's no need of uh, bisecting uh, the entire chest or something like that okay exactly precisely the required area can be cut and it can be uh, uh, the surgery can be done so that is the purpose of uh, diathermy which is given here in the form of a uh, uh, definition so it is nothing but the heating uh, uh, method which is applied to a tissue of the body so that uh, heat which will uh, penetrate the tissue due to the heat uh, the tissue will be um, breaking and uh, in that way the precise way of cutting a body can be done so that is the first one um, the next one is about the types of uh, diathermy so the generally there are different types of diathermy uh, apart from diathermy this is the first one that is conductive heating and then uh, diathermy heating and then surgical diathermy so these are the different types of uh, diathermy uh, this conductive heating is a normal method of uh, heating okay so this diathermy that is what we have uh, taken it as today's topic and then next is a surgical diathermy so which is nothing but the extension of this diathermy okay uh, diathermy when you do it in, in a uh, in a surgery that we name it as a surgical diathermy the conductive uh, heating is nothing but a type of uh, a normal way of heating um, uh, giving when you are uh, 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 when you have blood clots during that time you can give uh, uh, there are two different type of way of treatments you can apply heat or you can apply ice over the uh, uh, clotting of blood that is there in your body so that can be done uh, that method we call it as a conductive heating and diathermy that just now we saw it in the first slide and next is the extension of that that is a surgical diathermy so next the preceding slide will be about surgical diathermy so the surgical diathermy is nothing but it is uh, like a, uh, it's a setup called as electro uh, electro surgical unit ESU in that you have radio frequency oscillators cutting edge electrodes and then reference electrodes so these are the components using these components uh, this electro surgical unit is built so how the heat is generated that should be the first question so we know that diathermy is nothing but the heat generation so how a heat is generated the heat is generated using radio frequency oscillators so uh, oscillator is one of the source which helps to uh, create the heat so in which method it is creating the heat by sending a high uh, frequency microwave by making the oscillator to work at a high frequency the heat can be generated it is not that by using uh, by burning uh, the uh, by by burning method it is not uh, there is one way of uh, generating heat that is a usual way of uh, conventional way of burning uh, taking uh, generating heats but in medical terms the other uh, heat will be produced in a little bit different manner so in that one method is uh, by uh, uh, giving high frequency the heat can be generated so that we name it as a radio frequency oscillator and from that oscillator it goes to the electrodes so electrodes is uh, is a point where the uh, heat will be uh, generated where, where it will be present so that particular electrode will be placed over the body and it will be used to do the surgery okay reference electrode is nothing but it's a written electrode uh, what does it mean by written electrode always you have uh, in electronics you have two potentials one is lower potential one is another one is a higher potential so uh, uh, the two potentials are very much important so that the circuit completes 
so that is the meaning of it okay so for to switch on a light you have a, a positive terminal and a, a negative terminal so from the conventional way of uh, uh, flow of current is nothing but from positive to 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 positive to negative uh, but uh, in terms of electronics what we used to say is that uh, the current flows from electrons and it moves towards the positive that is the uh, technical way of saying it but conventionally we say that uh, moves from higher potential to lower potential so in the same manner the electrodes also uh, if the heat has to be uh, used if the heat has to be used effectively to cut a body then it has to flow from higher potential to the lower potential so for that you use an another electrode that electrode we called as a reference electrode so this is the uh, diagram of a uh, electrosurgical unit you can see as we can, as we described the pre previous slide we can see this is a pictorial representation of what we discussed this is a unit and this is one electrode and this is the another electrode which will be placed under the uh, body of a person who is going to have the surgery and is the doctor who is doing this uh, he is holding the electrode this is the electrode part and this electrode parts will have the uh, amount of heat which is generated from this uh, unit and this unit holds a crystal oscillator and which will be given a very high huge voltage due to that voltage the frequency may be increased and that frequency helps to generate the heat and that heat will be accumulated or it will be present in this electrode and that electrode precisely cuts only the particular amount of tissue particular tissues that is required and that will be cut and if, if this has to be completed you need an another electrode that is called as a reference electrode without this this process will not be done and that is why we have it here which is there in the bed over the bed the patient is uh, uh, laying and the uh, doctor is doing surgery okay this is an at electrode this is a reference electrode which is a written part which is highlighted in the red mark and this is how uh, electrical surgery is taking place without knife without uh, 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 wasting the blood okay the blood is a very precious precious thing so it has to be uh, uh, saved so uh, blood is very important okay so if you are using this type of uh, surgical equipments the loss of blood can be minimized so that is the main idea of doing this okay you can do operation using knife that is not a matter but the, when you do it in a knife the blood loss will be more but when you do it in this way blood loss will be very very less when compared to doing the surgery using a knife so with that we'll conclude this topic and with that uh, uh, the, uh, the advantages is that the two advantages are it can be used to uh, it can cut faster and then the second advantage is uh, blood bleeding as i told you the bleeding can be the bleeding blood bleeding will be less or we can say it as the loss of blood will be very less and then it can be used to cut faster precisely it can cut so that is advantage of that and with that we we'll complete this session